Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, welcome back to this channel and today we're taking a look at the iRoomba E6 series. Um, here's, a take a look, here's a look at the robot and uh, how it looks like. Um, but first, let's take a look at the box. Uh, when you open the box, of course the robot comes with it. But there's also two invisible walls and they also provide batteries. Um, and also information about warranty and how to use the robot. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the back of the box, this is what it looks like. There's information about the batteries um, and the, the, um, the barriers, the invisible wall barriers. Um, and then this is how the robot looks underneath. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the robot. Here's a home button, the clean button, and the locator button, I guess, uh, the Wi-Fi and the battery status. Uh, the locator button, when you press that, it just simply cleans around the robot. So you can move the robot to any room in any place, and you can press that button, and it will simply clean the area around wherever it's located. And so that's what this um, home button, uh, this locator button does. Um, one issue that I wanted to uh, bring up is that the very first time when I um, used that robot to clean, um, I had the robot right here and the box right here. And w one thing I noticed is that after um, the second and third time, the robot actually doesn't go past this area. So if I move this box, the robot will not hit the leg of the chair. Every single time it just goes from there to there where the box was before. So let me show it to you guys. Also um, the Roomba is also a bit loud um, and, that's, uh, and that's another thing. So that's something that um, as a consumer that you might want to uh, think about when you buy this uh, Roomba E6 series. It goes from the home and it does not hit um, where it should basically because there was a box here the very first time I used it. But um, what I found out was that after the very first time I used it, the Roomba kept the memory of the floor mappings uh, in storage and there's no way to remove that floor mapping. I tried to do a factory reset on the app um, and it still has that memory. So this run, this run that I just showed you guys is actually after the factory reset. And so even after doing a factory reset, it doesn't hit um, the leg of the chair. And I'm, I, it doesn't, I guess that doesn't bother too much people but for me, um, I I wouldn't think I I was expecting that the Roomba will actually refresh and erase the memories of the floor mapping each time because I don't always have something here, you know, and that might bother you. the The second thing is of course the noise. So um, if you heard, it's it, it was a bit loud when it ran. And the third issue is that when I press home, it's here right now, and home is right there. You know, but when I press home, it goes elsewhere. You know, it just goes somewhere else. It, it doesn't go home. You know, it, it's going away from the home. And so that's something else that I notice is that when you press home, it actually doesn't go straight home. You know what I mean? And so that's something that you might want to think about. So I noticed that each time after I press home, it took about like five, six minutes before it went all the way back to that um, home base over there. And so that's something that you guys might want to consider when you guys purchase the Roomba E6. I can't speak for any other models, but this is the issues that I came across um, when I bought this model. And so um, we are looking to return it. We're not sure if we can return it because we already used it and it's been sweeping the floor and the container has been um, 
you know, collecting dust and garbage, but um, if we can't return it, then we'll just have to deal with it. But for those who haven't purchased it, um, you might want to consider these things. Um, so um, the very first thing is that it, after, um, the very first run is when it does the floor mapping and it keeps it in memory and you cannot remove the memory. Second is it's a bit loud and third is when you press the home button, it doesn't return home right away. And so those are the three things that I came across and you might want to consider uh, as a consumer when you're uh, purchasing the Roomba E6 series uh, or E6 uh, model. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, like and subscribe this video uh, if you found it helpful um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.